another common day trick of Satan that we all, I'm sure, are being inundated with. I've talked about the Judaizer movement before um, and how it's essentially an attempted mishmash at trying to quote unquote follow the law, which is impossible, which Paul himself, the greatest Jew of his time as far as uh, law followers, still found himself, you know, not able to judge himself based upon everything except the final commandment about coveting when he coveted being the best, which he, he realized he was never going to be able to fulfill the law. Well, uh, this is a modern day strain of, I'm just going to say it guys, and I don't mean to be offensive, but fake Christianity. Um, part of the reason why the Lord came specifically was because the misunderstanding that fulfilling the law in our flesh somehow had anything to do with our salvation was never the case in the Old Testament. It's what we did to show what we believed. It was how we were to enact, the, the Jews were to enact their religion, their religious lifestyle. It was also uh, a witness to the other nations around them, but that in no way means that anything that they ever did had anything to do with saving them, right? Uh, the faith of Abraham existed well before the law. Abraham existed before the law, and he was called the father of many nations for a reason. There's a lot to be said about that, and again, I've expounded upon it at, at nauseum, I think, more than once. But in this particular video, I'd like to address the fact that it, and, and, and again, forgive me, not trying to be offensive, but many like to claim that his name was a certain pronunciation or a certain language or a certain title specifically almost as if it's like a and forgive me again a source of a sort of witchcraft right like you have to call him yeshua or yashua or yehoshua or some some strange transliteration that is only presumed right because well for example the book of joshua joshua has the exact same name in hebrew as jesus christ and i mean the first name is actual human name that does not mean joshua is in any way christ although uh, if we look at the the life and the uh, like the attack on Jericho and um, uh, Jerusalem and all that stuff, like his his whole his whole approach uh, as guided via the Lord was to in a sense prefigure Christ, right? And Joshua in Hebrew, Yehoshua, Yahshua, Yeshua, however you want to pronounce it, means salvation or He saves. The issue is when we look into the New Testament, it's written in Greek. Right? So, Jesus' name is Eosis in the, the Greek translation. And it's not unfair to assume that Christ probably spoke at least three languages, likely, well, we know he spoke at least three languages, you know, Hebrew, Aramaic, and uh, uh, Greek. But he probably also spoke uh, Roman, uh, 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 Latin, if you will. He probably, you know, spoke, he probably spoke a lot more languages than we realize, and being God, I'm sure. The, the gift of tongues was not beyond him. That being said, we repeatedly see his name as Eosis in the Greek text. And the Greek text is the original text of the New Testament. Now, some of us that have been <clears throat> believing for a long time, interesting, I have come to realize that there are, well, there's actually, there's, there's, there's at least 50 names for him. And all of these names, the mass majority of them have to do with his title, what he is and what he does, right? And, you know, like, I am one with the Father, that's not a title, but if we look back at what the Old Testament said, he claimed that his name was I Am. He was literally saying Yahweh is I Am. The Greek translation of that phrase being egoemi. It's, it's kind of simple and also difficult to understand, but essentially uh, the Father was claiming to be the source of all being. He's saying, I am, in other words, being. I am existence in and of itself. I am the source of life. I am the source of existence. So when he claimed that his name was I am, it was odd, but it was also easily understood uh, by the Hebrew here uh, of this, this phraseology expressed through Moses to the people. So, yeah, uh, let's see. Savior, Redeemer, Bread of Life, Lord, Creator, Son of the Living God, Only Begotten Son, Beloved Son, Holy One of Israel, Wonderful Counselor, The Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, King of Kings, Head of the Church, the Almighty, Alpha and Omega, Master, King of the Jews, High Priest, Prophet, Teacher, Emmanuel, which is God with us, uh, Advocate, Mediator, Judge, Chief Cornerstone, Author and Finisher of our Faith, the Lamb of God, the Good Shepherd, the Shepherd and Bishop of Souls, 
the word, the living word, if you will, um, fountain of living waters, rock, Messias, which is Messiah, uh, branch, that's from the Old Testament, I believe, Jeremiah. Um, there's also, uh, well, let's see, bridegroom, day spring, Shiloh, um, the one sent, Shiloh, uh, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the bright morning star, the, the image of the invisible God, I am, because he says before Abraham was, I am. Uh, son of man, that's from uh, both Daniel and Christ's own acknowledgement. Uh, carpenter, the way, the truth, the life, king of Israel, Christ. There's also uh, the root of Jesse, um, lion of the tribe of Judah. Did I already say that one? Probably. The point is, is the majority of the times that his, his person is expressed, it can't be nailed down to just one word, first off. So for those of the, the, the Judaizer movement, whether they're technically believers or not, and honestly, if they believe that following the law somehow saves them, they are not believers. And that, unfortunately, in my experience, maybe it's yours too, is the mass majority of, of these, um, well, they call themselves Messianic Christians. But, well, the word Christos uh, starts with an X in the Greek. It, it literally means chosen one or Messiah. It's the same. It's the synonym uh, that, that very much expresses the exact same meaning of the word Messiah, right? Uh, and there is no, nowhere in the Bible does it say you have to call me this name to be more holy than another. You do have to understand him as these things because it completely explains his place in creation being the author of life. That's not a small thing. That is in fact everything. He is the linchpin upon which this entire organization of life and death and, and rebirth and everything everything is swirling about he he is he is the center and everything spins on him so to overlook first off all of these other titles that he had because by the way the apostles themselves didn't actually call him by his name very often in fact very rarely when they were talking about him in third person yes but and they called him yosis you know because that was greek was the language but the truth of the matter is, they called him Lord. They called him, uh, a time or two, they called him the Son of God, right? But but they, they never went out of their way to have any, like, mystical incantation of a name where they said some fancy-sounding word, which to me in our language is kind of silly because whether you understand him as Yosis, Jesus, Yeshua, Yashua, you know, any, any of these, these, these versions of his name, we have to know that he is God, one with the Father, man, and his death on the cross, even after all that horrific torture, is what saves you. That is the gospel. Whether you know his actual human name or not is irrelevant. Um, but the, this seems to be just another point of contention that Satan loves to throw out there. Uh, and, and make no mistake, folks, the unfortunate truth about this whole witchcraft-like projection that these people have, they think that it somehow makes them closer to God by saying fancy-sounding words. And that that could not be further from the truth. And in fact, if they think these things are at all necessary to be saved, again, it is actually, ironically, part of the thing that's keeping them from actually being saved. So, whatever you call him, as long as you understand him as one with the Father, God, uh, also man, because he came as a man, he had to be he had to be the sinless, sinless, perfect man to be able to pay for our sin, and that his death on the cross saves you. You're saved. It doesn't matter what you call him. It doesn't matter what name you have. It doesn't matter which title you pick. Right? You could you could you could walk around calling him the Son of Man, just so long as you understand the facts of the gospel. Boom. These are people we should pray for. These are people that um, I, I hate to say it, guys. And again, I never mean to be. I never mean to be cursory, I never mean to, to cast dispersions, I never mean to be offensive. However, if we go by what the Word says, these people are essentially, they're, they're, they're addicted to religion. They're addicted to other people's acknowledgement of the way that they're seen to other people. In other words, they, they want you to see them as somehow being more holy, closer to God, special, because of some series of strange behaviors, which by the way guys, again, I've said this before, I'll say it again. It is technically impossible to fulfill any part of the law, even if even if you were, even if you were really truly wanting to. There's there's no yearly pilgrimages, there's no system of sacrifice. You know they they like to mystify things and they like to say, oh your your sacrifice is spiritual, but don't you think the Lord would have laid down very clear and obvious 
uh, behavioral patterns as Christians we're supposed to have to replace the law if in fact we were to fulfill it because he is the fulfillment of it and we're supposed to have faith that he took care of all these things. In what way are we truly having faith if we think we're the ones that are supposed to enact the law? His law is to believe in him and the one sent. Shiloh, Shiloh, right? Christ. So, just thought I would throw that out there. The name, blessedly, thank you, thank you, Lord, is irrelevant because if you go to any, I mean, it's Jesus in Spanish. Do you think that makes them any less saved if they call him Jesus? Not even a little bit. If they understand him as God, man, and his death saves you, they are saved. So, uh, that's my bit for that. Uh, I, I, would, I would say this would be a call to prayer for those who are unfortunately fooled into thinking that there's any method of replacing the old system of worship. What you need to understand is, for example, a lot of the major cults today, they have a series of rite and ritual that are designed to essentially take over for what the Jews supposedly gave up. The whole Roman Catholic rite, the whole uh, Coptic Christian rite, the whole Eastern Orthodox rite, all of that is essentially a modern day farce of what Old Testament worship was supposed to be as, as a sort of replacement, if you will. Um, blessedly, and again, thankfully, we have the example of Cornelius, for example. That, that sheet that came down from heaven, that was covered in all sorts of what he called abominations, but Gentile nations were eating crustaceans, they were eating pig, they were eating, you know, all kinds of things that Jews considered to be unholy, but he was told very much so in a very, very clear manner, repeatedly, in fact, three times, just like the denial, that what was uh, once profane has now been made holy by Christ's sacrifice, and the rules changed because those he came to rejected him, so he took it to the world, and one of the ways he did that was by essentially abolishing the law in his flesh. We need to rest on that. We need to pray for these people. We need to have a lot of patience with them, but we also need to have a certain limit because after a while, these people don't just want to express what they believe and have you see them as special. They want to put it upon you. Otherwise, they feel as though um, their reason for living is being attacked. Just like every other, I'm sorry to say this, but every other evil religious nonsense like this well, you guys see what's going on in the news. All the stuff that's being forced on us, the pronouns and whatnot. It's the same thing, unfortunately. And the devil very much has a lot of people tricked into this. And it's a, it's a cult-like group mentality. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there so I don't go on too long. Jesus, Yeshua, Yehoshua, Yosis, Jesus, Jesus, however you want to say his name. Son of God. Also man, his death saved you. Straightforward. Anyway, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, like, share, subscribe if you care to. If I keep saying things that are offensive. Probably going to lose a couple more subscribers, but that's what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to sit around and make people feel good about their false impressions. We're supposed to, hopefully I'm doing this lovingly, so it never really feels like it, honestly. I always feel like an ogre, and that's my sin and my nonsense. But you guys keep strong. You guys have a good day. I hope it's nice weather like it is here. We'll talk to you soon.